Most developers use JWT without realizing the security differences between each model. Stateless JWT is the simplest. The server signs a token, the client sends it back, and the server only verifies the signature. Fast, scalable. But you can't revoke a stolen token, so logout isn't truly secure. Blacklisting tries to fix this by storing invalidated tokens in Redis and blocking them when they appear. But the blacklist grows endlessly and gets slow as the system scales. Whitelisting flips the logic by only allowing tokens that exist in Redis, so every login creates a session that stores the exact access and refresh token. If a token isn't in Redis, it's fake or modified, giving you stronger control. But every request now hits Redis. Banks and high security systems use a hybrid, stateless access tokens for speed, whitelisted refresh tokens for control, plus rotation, device checks, and strict session expiry. So even if a refresh token is stolen, rotating it instantly kills the old one. Choose stateless for simple apps, whitelisting for serious protection, and the hybrid model when security absolutely cannot fail.